this is the part that I really wasn't looking forward to with the Duke because of the handlebars are really wide for doing this type of stuff here. I got like an extra two inches on either side. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Some people really go out of their way to give room for motorcycles. And other people do the opposite. Definitely a lot slower pace splitting on this bike than it is on the RC8. <laughs> I could freaking fly through this stuff on the RC8. Or on this bike, it's a little bit sketchy. I'm kind of like, I'm being way more reserved with my speed and trying to pay more, more attention. Just trying to be a little bit more cautious. There's a Harley dude up there in front of me. Thank you. Anytime someone flips their signal on, I always wait for them. And a lot of times they'll, they'll, they'll like see that I'm there and they'll flip the signal back off. <laughs> you know, they'll be like, ah, you know what, I'll wait for that motorcycle to go by me before I change lanes. <laughs> Which is cool with me, you know, that's totally fine. This really sucks, having wide handlebars. It really does. If you're commuting to work and back, you want a sport bike. That's my opinion. Yeah, this freaking bike sucks for splitting lanes, man. fucking mirror that sucks There's traffic on the way to work, and now there's major traffic on the way home. Thank you. That was cool. You didn't have to do that. <laughs> Weird, man. There's just so much traffic. Holy crap, I thought I smelled fire. Damn. <laughs> 